Welcome back puzzlers, my name is Rick and I love jigsaw puzzles. In today's video I wanted to bring you one of the puzzles that I have not mentioned in my collections because I wanted to keep it as a surprise and this puzzle is kind of... Mm, I have mixed feelings about it. I don't know if I will love it, if I will hate it or if I will even give up halfway through but I'm so curious about why this puzzle is so popular particularly now on YouTube and this puzzle is the accident puzzle or broken glass puzzle or also known as the impossible puzzle. Now this one doesn't come in the bottle, it actually comes in a plastic bag so please don't laugh. I put it on a, on a Japanese plum wine bottle just to make it look nice for you. <laughs> so let me show you some of the pieces now. That's what it looks like, I'm not sure if the camera will actually pick them up because they are transparent. Well this puzzle comes with around 160 pieces and they are all literally crazy shapes as you can tell and they should literally mimic broken glass and funny enough some of the pieces are so small you can hardly see them check this out now please let me know in the comments if you ever solved this puzzle before if you have it or if you are planning to get it as well all right so that's what we're gonna do today let's put this broken glass puzzle to the test. Let's go! By the way guys I'm timing myself this time which is very unusual because I'm really curious to see how long it will take and check out the size of these pieces. Are they crazy? Finding the edges for this, I think it's incredibly tr tricky and it's taking me like literally eight minutes to put the first two pieces together. All right, it's about 20 minutes or so and I managed to sort of place some of the edges together, but I'm still struggling as you can tell. And by the way, if you buy this puzzle, just be aware that the, the pieces will not interlock properly, so it's kind of wiggly and depending on how you touch it, it's going to mess everything around. And again, it took me about, what, half an hour or so to figure out where those si the, the sides were going to go. As you can tell here, I'm kind of struggling, you know, to place them. Is it south? Is it north? Where do they go? And eventually, I get there. And just something for you to consider as well. Be aware that uh, all the fingerprints are going to stay in the pieces. So it will get to a point when where the pieces will kind of look dirty. It's not a really good experience. Okay, finally, frame completed and it took me 43 minutes. Right, so I'm just gonna do a time lapse now from now on and I will slow it down in just a minute. Hey, check out this piece. It looks like a dragon, doesn't it? Right, so now that I've used most of the larger pieces, I'm left with this bunch of tiny, tiny pieces and they are getting smaller and smaller as I get to this area here. So it's getting very frustrating. All right guys, so it's three hours, 41 minutes and I'm officially giving up on this puzzle, the broken glass. And I'll tell you why. This is just boring. It's like boring. There is no picture. There is nothing interesting about it. And, you know, I really enjoy, you know, finding out about what's in the picture, you know, piecing things together. And as you can see here, these pieces are too small. Like, even handling them is kind of really tricky. Like, I would need a pair of tweezers to, to sort of put them together. So, I've kind of lost interest. Alright guys, almost three hours into it and I got really bored. There was nothing interesting about this puzzle. I would not want to finish it, so much so that I gave up having only those very small pieces to uh, put in place and to solve the puzzle. I knew for sure I was going to be able to solve it, but I didn't want to waste any more minute in it because I was not enjoying it. Uh, if you want a big, big challenge, Go for it. It's much harder, I think, in the beginning than it is towards the end because once you have that level of satisfaction uh, and you know that you are going to be able to solve it, it kind of loses the fun a little bit, particularly 
when there is nothing to be seen at the end there was no image there there is no uh, information that would make you excited about the puzzle and if i recommend it hmm, that is a really good question i would recommend it only if you want challenge if you want the joy of jigsaw puzzles then i'm not entirely sure is i have the same opinion about the cryptic puzzles they are very challenging i'm sure but it's not something that i would ever be interested in because as i said there's no information on the puzzle and there's nothing interesting about it it's only the challenge so yeah so that is the video for today and um, as carol from carol's puzzle corner said don't ever be afraid to give up and walk away from a puzzle don't waste your time if you are not enjoying what you are doing almost four hours into a puzzle and not finding the joy in it uh, it is just not worth it honestly not worth it so yeah that was my surprise puzzle for today i was saving this one and i did not mention it on my puzzle collection together with the 3d puzzles that i have as well that are probably coming i have motorbikes and cars and all sorts of things but anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video and please let me know in the comments as well if you solved this puzzle before and how did you go with it did you finish it did you enjoy it and uh yeah i would love to hear from all of you now thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure you check the playlist here and i will see you next time bye